So uh, let's quickly go through and uh, look at how we got that art in there because I want people to use Reiner's collection. Uh, I really encourage them to, but they're going to run into this issue where they're trying to use Reiner's collection and they just can't figure out how to get it in. They can't figure out how to make it work for them. So let me actually go and do one with you and then we'll, sh we'll look at the code very quickly. And uh, I'm already behind here. Where are you? Arrows. It would be helpful if I left the window open so we could just talk right to it. I want to remind everybody that they can, they can download the code from the previous shows. Yeah. So links are in the show notes. Yes, I will commit today's code after the show. Um, okay, so what did I do? I used, uh, this will be a shout out for Texture Packer. I used Texture Packer. Let me bring it over here. And I grabbed a monster. Let's go into the monster folder. I downloaded some of his artwork and I unzipped the files. And let's go ahead and put a dragonfly in here. Or a dragonfly. Sure, why not? Green dragonfly. So we're going to take that and I basically make a copy of the folder. I open it up. And this one's pretty, pretty simple. Yep, so this one's extremely simple. It's too simple, in fact. Sorry. Let me find one that's not quite. Let's go with a wolf. How's that? Yeah, that'll be better. Gray wolf. Gray wolf. There chicken, you are. chicken 45. <laughs> oh, Matt, you want chicken? Okay, chicken. No, we're not going with chicken. We're going with a gray wolf. Okay, so I paste it over there. I like to make a copy of any folder that I'm working with, but it's up to you. I open it up. And the first thing you're going to notice is there are a ton of animations, but you're not going to use them all. First of all, if you try to use them all, they will not fit in a 2048 by 2048 spreadsheet. So what you want to do is you want to go through here, and I know from experience now that I'm going to use the Ben Hit animation, so if they've been hit. And, uh, oh, you're going to have to deal with German. The guy's German, and some of his animation names are in German. So the uh, Halt, or Stopped, uh, animation. I think we might keep that. Oh, for crying out loud. Uh, he's going to have all... Why can't I just get lucky? That's it. We're going we're gonna to do one of the zombies again because I know that's going to work. Sorry. I'm trying to do this and I'm being defeated by language. I don't want to do conversion of language at the same time that we are doing uh, the uh, uh, green... So we'll just do green zombie. Green zombie. We'll make him again. We'll make a green zombie too. Okay. So here's my green zombies. Here's my list. Another thing that's really funny about his animations is he's got some like off the wall animations that just don't fit with a game at all. And one of those is he's got the knitting zombie. Let's see worse. I'm like, what do you got a knitting zombie for? Why is that in there? So First thing you do Those are the scariest ones of all. Yeah, that's the knitting attack. So I know I'm not going to use that, so I grab the first one here, and I find the last one in the sequence, and I delete it. And I know I'm not going to have a talking zombie. I don't want to talk to my zombie, so he's got a talking animation. I'm going to grab all of these, and I'm going to take them out. And that should be enough. That should be enough animations taken out for this example. So then I'm just going to grab all these textures. I'm going to bring them over here and drag them onto the tool. Wait a moment. And then you're going to get a sheet like this. Now the first thing you're going to notice is you got all these weird brown backgrounds. Perfectly cool. Leave them alone. I'll show you how to fix it. Um, Basically, at this point, if you've selected Corona Sprite Sheet as your starter project, which is what I did, you, you just have to click Publish. And we're going to call this Green Zombie 2, because I've already got one green zombie. And I will save the project. It goes through its little detail here, little little thing, saving me hours and hours of work. I can't even imagine doing this manually. Look at all those sprites. And we'll discard it. So I just close it, and let's go ahead and go out and find the green zombie 2 folder, our uh, image, and let's go fix 
all those brown zombies. Why is here a green zombie? Two red zombies. Here it is. So here's our sprite sheet now with a bunch of brown backgrounds. We don't want that. No good. So before we even try to use this, what we're going to do is we're going to open up a tool. I'm a uh, Paint Shop Pro user, so you have to forgive me. I know people are laughing at me now. And uh, simply open it up in uh, Photoshop, Paint Shop Pro, or GIMP. And if you have the Magic Wand selector, which is the select all things of a certain color or whatever variety, it's, it's a selector tool. Put it on the non-contiguous setting. In other words, you click anywhere and you select a pixel of a certain color, what I, which is what I'm going to do. It will select all of them. So I click on the brown, and then I simply delete it. Now that got rid of all the brown, but there's going to be there's a second problem here, which is if you zoom way in, you notice that all the characters that he does have these little shadows, and the shadows are not black. So if you want the shadows to be black, the quick way to fix this is, um, sorry, is to make a blank raster layer, fill that in with black or blue. <laughs> Fill that in with black, and then go back to where the shadow is. You can see his shadows are brown. So then, then we do is we do the same select select all. We select all the shadows because all the shadows will have the same color. It's nice about his animations. And then we click delete, and then we go down and select the black layer, and we invert our selection, and we hit delete again, and now we are left with one layer which is just the character no shadow and another layer which is just our now newly created black shadow and we simply save that out and we let it do its thing now it, it is this is this brown background is this brown brown background created by a texture packer, or is this because of the way that the original source files were put together? That was the original source file. He chose a brown shadow. Okay. I don't know why he chose brown. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, it probably matched up with some of the artwork that he had for his ground textures, or, or something. Maybe I don't know what it was, but uh, pers personally, I I take this a little further for my own things. I take the shadows and I do a 50% black so that it's a semi-translucent shadow, which is a lot less jarring. It's a little bit smoother. But for this case, I just wanted to show you. Okay. I, just, I was just wanting everybody to understand why why this happened and what they could expect in future if they used other assets and, and that kind of thing, or if it was a texture packer thing or what. So. Yeah, not a texture packer thing at all. This is, a, this is that. The, the shadow is purely an artifact of the color he selected as the shadow.